So hello, welcome to a new episode. So, we are no longer in Europe. We are actually currently entering the M5. So yes, we're no longer in Europe. We're, I'm, I'm back home uh, in sunny England. Cold, wet, snowy, icy England. So we, we go to a location that obviously from my house is a uh, it's two hours and 25 minutes to get there. Not, not a huge distance. Apparently it's a hoarder's house so with cars. So hopefully it's a good one. If not, it's a wasted journey, wasted effort. But, you know, I wouldn't be in this game if I, if I didn't, you know, understand the consequences when it comes to uh, driving far, far distances to find nothing. That's quite, quite the, uh, the, the common occurrence. So yes, like I say, we're heading to a hoarder's house now. It's uh, an hour and 49 minutes, I've been driving for a while, so we're gonna get there and see what's there. If nothing's there, then we're gonna find something else, aren't we? So yes, thank you for tuning in, and uh, let's get on with the video. Let's go try and find something. Right then, let's uh, go and see if we can see what we can see, to see if we can see if there's anything there worth seeing. So think about these locations, nine times out of 10 there, there are bus locations anyway, and it's like, what's the point of going? So I heard a wolf then, I say we're not in wolf country. Right, so straight away we've got a uh, dead end. It's dropping cold, the sun's get coming down. Probably got like an hour before it gets too dark. I mean, it's like, it's a video up until you get to that point where the location's a dead location, then, then the footage is just rendered useless. This road is well used. So the hoarder's house sort of story isn't really uh, panning out just yet. I mean, I'm walking straight down the man's path if he's here. I kind of want to be in the woods. What I'm going to do, I'm going to check my maps and so then uh, see where about we are. So I'll be back in a second. One thing that you don't take into consideration about when you're exploring this type of uh, terrain is it's really crunchy underfoot so you, you get here a mile away so i'm betting this is a dead location so there are a few old cars here look start got an old capri there look and then this really old bad volvo which is yeah been there a long last time certainly not worth the effort mm. what we're here but well, i still got the keys in that house 145,000 miles she's certainly been abandoned Poor old girl. The tallest lander, whatever that means. Mm. I'm gonna have to find some more locations, ladies and gentlemen, to add to this because this is nah, this isn't gonna cut it. Is that a Granada? It's a left hand drive, so it's an import of some sort. I'm not too sure though. the noise you can't have a walk about with that type of noise going on yeah uh feeling disappointed is well and truly an understatement well and truly an understatement good morning everybody it's a bit of a early morning start it's been raining it's been bloody miserable so we've got a, uh, got to find the keys. We've got a three hour journey ahead of us now. God, three hour journey. It's been a couple of days since the uh, 
the bit of video that you've already watched. It's been a long time actually. I did that uh, particular location. Um, not long after I came back from Europe. Oh God, I can't even get in this seat. Yeah, so the location that you've just watched was a good few weeks ago. I think it was the same week I came back from Europe. So however long that was ago, I can't bloody keep count, can't keep track. So that was a bit of a bust. So now we're gonna go towards London. I'm too tired, Starbucks isn't open. Yeah, it's too early in the morning for this stuff. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's carry on because you really can't see me. Um, I will invest in a better camera. I do need to buy a better camera, so for this it's not. It's not New Year yet, but by the time the video goes out, I think it will be. So many years I've been saying this, I want to bring scuba diving to my channel. Um, it's been a long time since I've done it, so I might have to have a refresh. But if that's something that you're interested in, or even creating another channel for that, so if you're interested in that, let me know. If you want me to keep it to this channel, just let me know in the comments below. Um, there's a few things that I can buy so we can still have the best of both worlds. I just want to try and bring more depth get it depth to the channel because right now cars are running out fast so i need to think of something else to do yeah so uh anyway let's get on with the journey good morning everybody uh i hope you had a good christmas hope you had a good new year uh, no not new year we're not even there yet but yeah let's crack on with it so i'll see you all in a sec just getting a breakfast don't normally have mcdonald's breakfast anymore but you know as I've got a long drive and all that. <laughs> and the uh, the crappy thing is it started to rain. So it's going to be a wet, wet, wet explore if we find anything that is. The problem with, with the UK is there's not much left in the UK to explore, like car-wise. Hence why I went to Europe. But that didn't really work out either, did it? I need to uh, think of some other things. There's a... Uh, there's a Japanese car graveyard in Japan, um, which is bloody amazing that I want to go and see. But that's in Japan, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you. Chocolate? Can I have some sugars, please? Oh, like? uh, just a couple, please. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a place in Japan that I've got uh, Skylines, Mitsubishi Evos, first gen, second gen. Uh, G it's got, <laughs> it's got that much cool stuff, but it's in Japan. Do you know what I mean? Old Japanesey. And then there's a location which they filmed um, Tokyo Drift on the uh, abandoned uh, motorway where the the, the motorway just come to a dead end stop and it's just like a huge drop i mean i want to bring you some amazing content but it's just it's just the costs it really is i want to see these things not only for myself but for you too my audience i want to take you on some amazing adventures see america is where i'd like to go i am kind of unorthodox i am just me i'm kind of hard to understand if you understand me i don't think people really get me to be fair you know, I'm probably the only realist person or real uh, channel you'll ever find because there's no frills, I'm just me in all of my madness. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna tuck into this, I'm gonna get on with the journey. So uh, I'll see you all shortly. Hopefully it'll be daylight. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, what we like. Ford Sierra LX, Ford Scorpio, and I think they're Granadas or Cortinas. Now, I don't know how dodgy this location is. Um, I've only just entered it, so um, let's hope we get a good a good bit of footage here. What's the mileage of this one? It's well, 72,000, so not too sure, might be 172. Look at that. Wow, Ford Sierra LX, awesome. We've got Ford Scorpio here. These are getting super rare. Look at that leather trim. Well, not leather, but you know what I mean. Is that door open that side? 122,000. Look at that, awesome. And then we've got some uh, they're Cortinas or Granadas? I'm gonna say how old granddad I am. Wow, look at that. 
Looks like they use this one for racing. Type of uh, Grim League sort of stock sort of racing. Wow. It's not often you see, look at that there, look, the Ford. It's not often you see these types of cars anymore. They're all long gone. Automatic this one is. I'm sure these have obviously been used for spares maybe. Look at the parts in there. Came air filter. Unreal. No way. I'm in my element here, ladies and gentlemen. Ford Fiesta. No, it's an Astra. It's weird, isn't it? Because that there looks like Ford Fiesta. With the chrome bumper. Did Astras have chrome bumpers? I can't, I don't know. Definitely an Astra. And then we've got another Granada here. 109,000 on the clock. Good old uh, leather trim. It's leather. Loving it. Gotta love a good old car graveyard, ladies and gentlemen. Took me a long time to get here, and it's pissing in and around, and I'm cold, but absolutely loving it. What do we have here? Oh, look at this. What's this? Oh, I can't open it for you. What car is this, ladies and gentlemen? It's a Rover, isn't it? 3.5 litre. Oh, God. Is that an old Rover? Just spotted the parts cache. Oh, seemingly a parts cache. Oh, wow, yeah. Loads of parts in here. But we can't stay around here too long because. I don't really want to get caught in this location. Oh, she's still in there. She's all still there. I'm always a happy man when I find a, uh, a Ford. See who's there, look. No way. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Why is it? Why do I always find the E30s? Fuck's sake. God. I can't see them eyes, can you? For fuck's sake. I'm swearing, I'm sorry, but man, it pisses me off. It's a two door two. It's got the standard BBS um, alloys on too. She's uh, she's rotten. Is this dolphin grey? I think it is dolphin grey, which is probably one of the best colours to have a BMW in, especially a two door. Clearly it's been towed here at some point. The Reggie is G725 Ow. Um ADX or AOX. So a better look inside. God, there's a few spikes. Some mileage, can you see? It's not a bad example, really. It's manual two, manual two door. Lights have been left on. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I'm stuck. Two door E30 left. Oh, there's another car there. Look, what car's that? Oh, that's an old girl. 
So I was given this location by a buddy that watches my content. So if you're watching, appreciate it, mate. Thank you very much. But I need to um, find a way over because there's a lot more cars over there. So hold on, let's have a quick look at this truck here while we're here. I wonder if it's open. There she is. I swear, a little mouse is just legged it across there. We got Bedford van. Army one because it's got the roof thing there. This is a military vehicle. These are always cool. It always shocks me to see these things abandoned. What are they? A little uh, VW bread van. I've always wanted one of those. That's been there a long time. So chat was right. A lot of old uh, farm um, trucks and things. Been here a very long time, as you can tell. Look at the windscreen. Can see the other doors. Uh, can't get the other way. How cool is this? Look at that retro interior. Oh my god! <laughs> What's the mileage? The mileage is 123,000. That's a strange badge. Lived on that badge before. Got original cassette, four speed manual. Those seats are cool looking colours though. Proper retro. This has been here for a while. Volkswagen Polo, a CL. Got another little uh, car over here, it's a Fiesta. You gotta be careful playing places like this because I don't want to find a pond because it's quite scary when you fall into it. A little Fiesta, again, that's been there a long time too. I love when I find cars like this. I don't know about you that's watching, but I still look at these and think they're a new car. I wonder if we can get inside it. She's open. Ooh, there's a bit of tree at the way. Hmm. Must have been the old ears. So we've got a couple of old uh, farm trucks here too. Not really into the old trucks to be fair. I like trucks, but it's more, I'm more of a car person. There's a car over here, wasn't there? We saw in the bushes. Let's go and try and find it. Ow, 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 ow. There she is. This, now this is what I love doing. This is the hunt. This is what you call proper car hunting. Not like looking at them. Wow, look at that. Oh my God, there's a fucking, there's a VW there, look. An RVW pickup, I think. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh. Is that, no, it's an old Peugeot. Oh. Is this the original seat out of there? Look at that there, look. Oh. The old girl's locked up. And she's full of scrap. Oh, what a shame for this old girl. There's a the registration there. Hour one four IL. Oh, I'm in love, ladies and gentlemen. See, I love finding these. I just, oh, I live for finding these finds, but then again, I hate having to leave them. I absolutely, I absolutely hate having to leave them. What a find that is, though. What a find. Yeah, it's a pickup. It's a pickup. There's one, there's another wheel for it there. Wow. This is unreal, this is. What a find. Not forgetting the Peugeot there. We found quite a few of those before, didn't we? This is not open. No, she's not. She's locked. Get off my hat. <sighs> yeah, this Peugeot's dead. Well and truly dead. But this uh, VW pickup is amazing. Absolutely love it. I love that registration there. Hour 14 IL. What a damn shame. Oh, there's still got a mirror. Hello. Right then, let's carry on with our venture to see if we can find any more cool things. Oh god, spikes. This is what I live for. Abandonment like this. Let's get the bag and see if we can find anything else. Got an old LDV convoy here. These are good campers. What's the registration on that? I mean, the tax last on that. Well, can't really tell, can you? 
We've got a little panda here, look. It's the four wheel, this is the four wheel drive version. Ow, Fiat Panda 1000S. Now that's a rare little car. Look at that little panda. Wow. <laughs> oh, no way. It's a little Honda Vision. No way. I'm going to pull that out, ladies and gentlemen. I wouldn't normally do this, but I've got to pull that out. Give me a sec. So I pulled it out, and I'm just getting caught on brambles. So she's a little, a little Honda Melody. Two Deluxe. How cool is this? Now, I'd absolutely love to take this home with me. I would genuinely would love to take this home with me because I reckon this thing will get going. Got the old kickstart there too. Let's just see if she's seized. Oh yeah, she's seized. Well and truly seized. But I don't think it would take much to get this old girl purring again. I'm not sure about MOT wise, but look at her. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm at home now because I used, this is the thing we used to whiz around on the little Honda Melody, Honda Love, Honda Vision oh. tell you something, I'm at home ladies and gentlemen I'm genuinely at home <laughs> free man up on one, on one of these things you remember back in the day <laughs> nostalgia is a beautiful thing the mileage on this old girl is 8,000 8, so she went around the block everything seized on her every sing single thing seized so this is the first little honda moped i found on my channel i'd love to take this old girl home but my god she seized oh got a bit of play there yeah she's seized <sighs> what a shame so this old girl will just end up on the scrap pile but i'm pretty sure this is classed as a classic now isn't it so i'm almost certain somebody would restore this given the chance wow there you have it a honda melody 2 deluxe let's pull her back forgot to mention that little uh, fiat next to it is also a little cool car wow got some old trucks down here look oh my god this place just gets better look at the volvo I can't even get into this car. Is this an import, like an American import because of the size of these bumpers? Because I'm almost certain we didn't have bumpers this big. Let me know if I'm wrong or right in the comments below, ladies and gentlemen. I'm almost certain we didn't have big bumpers like that in this country. Can't even get close. Ow! Let's try and get in there for you. These tankers are unreal, they're just everywhere. This place just gets better and better, it really does. So I found another car. Um, I wonder if you can guess what car that is underneath there. That there's an old dolly. She's been there a long ass time. Yeah. This little Citroen dolly that is. I want that Volvo. I want the Honda and the Volvo and the E30. Wow, what a location. What a location. Right then, so I'm going to call this video a done video. So from me, Stokes, you nothing but love and respect. And remember, don't limit yourself. And until next time, keep car hunting or house hunting or anything hunting for that matter. So see you on the next one. <laughs> An old car. That's a shame that is to leave that like that. Well, as you can see here, this gypsy size. They must have had a proper party. They even turned their houses upside down. Yep, the boys weren't happy. Yeah.